All right, hey everyone. Just uh, varnishing some paintings today. So one of my Tolkien themed ones. You can see the Gandalf riding on his uh, horse, and the uh, the the beacons on the mountaintops. Rohan, you know, kind of a theme painting like that. But um, just uh, going through all of my finished paintings that are on canvases and gesso boards and uh, doing the UV archival light gloss varnish uh, finish on them. Um, obviously you want to go with archival stuff um, so it's easier to remove in the future in case it needs cleaned or repaired or whatever. Not that I'm some hmm, well-known, you know, haughty toddy artist or whatever, but uh, it's just a it's, it's something important to protect paintings, especially because uh, I largely paint with tempera paint, which is uh, water-based uh, and can be damaged very easily with water. So you want to uh, varnish them, uh, give them give them a clear coat. Um, make sure that your paintings are dry and clean, no dust on them or anything before you do any clear coat varnish, obviously, just like with anything doing laminating or coating or anything like that. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing here. So, got my respirator, and uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, I'm going to start doing that, and I'll show you, I'll maybe take some clips of actually showing the spray, and then what it looks like when they're done. The, uh, the, the varnish itself, as a side note, um, dries pretty quick in about 15 minutes, and it's uh, pretty safe to handle after about two hours. So I'm going to be where I'll be wearing gloves as well, so that I can move the paintings and continue varnishing multiple paintings. So here we go. Got all these done, varnished, that one's chilling, varnished, varnished, takes a little bit, <laughs> okay, good to go. It's a little pungent in here still, so I'll make this quick. But um, yeah, first coating is good to go. Still drying in a couple of spots on the on the last bits uh, that were painted, but it's keeping well, and uh, yeah, they look good. Um, tried to keep them as clean as I could while spraying and everything, make sure the dust is off of the raw paintings and things like that, so they look good. Yeah, I'll show you some of the other ones here. That was one of the other ones I hadn't shown before, and that's one of my favorite paintings actually that I've done. So there's this one. I know the light is kind of weird in here. Sorry about the muffled <laughs> with the mask on, but it's a little pungent. So there's that one. <sighs> Got the uh, focus, focus, there we go. Got the raven. Alright. And uh, yeah. There we go. Kind of a mountain landscape, another one of my favorites. That's uh, probably my favorite one right there. Dragon. Runestone, some other fantasy and occult style paintings. 
I just uh, I really enjoy painting, so I'm really glad that this uh, our carnival varnish works so well. So, and I just use my tub as a as a painting booth. There's ventilation in here, so don't worry. Um, obviously, and then using my respirator. So, um, yeah. Take it off for two seconds here. Um, yeah. Uh, happy, happy with uh, how they came out. Um, might do another light pass on all of them, but nothing crazy. So there it is. If you're gonna do paintings and you really like them, you want them to keep, uh, especially with paints that are extremely vulnerable to moisture and things like that, freaking varnish them up. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more painting. I'm actually probably going to put up an actual painting, like, video, uh, doing a painting, uh, fresh, uh, probably in the next couple of, like, videos. So, uh, yeah. Stay dead. Uh, metal up. Out.